Sister Wig Lover, this is Heather from SisterWigs.com and today I'm bringing you a review of a very pretty Gabor wig called Opulence. And the color on Opulence is really, really pretty too, especially if you like these dark reds. This is GL33-130, also known as Sangria. Now, this color is awesome. I love reds, you know I love reds. And I think this one's just so rich and vibrant and pretty. It's just got a lot going on. So before I get too far ahead of myself and talk about the wig, let's talk about this color for a second. In the sunshine, holy moly, look at this. Look at how pretty and intense this red is. If you're the kind of person who loves reds and gets really upset when you order a red wig and it turns out to be brown, this is an awesome color for you because it will not, you will never mistake this color for a brown. Like this one reminds me a little bit of like Joan from Mad Men's hair color. Hers is a little bit closer to that 130 than the 33. Um, so, uh, but it's really hard to find a true 130 in these sort of medical market wigs because a 130 all on its own looks a little costumey. So that's why they throw, throw the 33 in there for flavor. It helps even out the tone, makes it look a little bit more natural. But I think that overall, that this sangria color is just, mwah, it's delicious, it's to die for. So, and it looks really great with this blue color. <laughs> so anyway, back to the wig. I think this wig's awesome. I'm not even gonna mince words about it. I think this wig fits comfortably. I think it looks really good right out of the box. I think it's lightweight. I think it's really easy to wear. And it comes in some very, very nice colors. So all the way around, I like this wig. Uh, it's 2.75 ounces, which is really nice and lightweight. The hair, is really nice and swishy, which is cool. Um, the front is 8.5 inches, which is quite long. It's made to be swept off to the side. The crown down is also 8.5 inches, though I think they're fibbing, because look at that. Um, these sides are six inches. So this is a heavily layered wig. It doesn't look like it's heavily layered, but it is. It's chop, chop, chop to make it look a little bit more natural and to make it lay a little bit more flatteringly. Uh, the nape is real short on this one. It's only two inches. It's pretty short. But I do think for most people that's gonna give really adequate coverage. Uh, worst case scenario, you may have to shave your neck because this is a very, very, very short bob. But I haven't had to shave my neck. Um, and I think if you stay in the same range of colors that your bio hair is, you won't have to worry about that at all. Um, no more so than you would if you actually cut your hair this way, you know? So. Uh, I think that this one's really dynamite. It's got a monofilament part and a ready to layer wear lace front. So let me zoom in on that. Now I will say in terms of lace fronts, let me move it a little bit further along on my hairline so you can see. This one's real thick. This is a real thick lace front. It's very densely threaded. For some people, that's gonna be amazing. And for other people, they don't like it when it just starts off super thick and then mono top or super thick and in this case, monofilament part. Um, to each their own. You can always pluck some of the hairs at the front. If it really offends you, you can loosen the knot and take the hair out if you want it to be more like a John Renault uh, smart lace front where it starts off a little sparse and then gradually gets thicker as the hair moves towards the monofilament uh, portion. Um, it's completely up to you. I think this one's quite passable on its own. It's just thick, you know, but let me move that right off there. So you can kind of see what I mean. Look at that color. Let me go ahead and show you what opulence looks like from all sides. You can see it's very nicely graduated here with that longer front. So there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and take Opulence off now so I can show you the cap construction. Opulence is very well made. It's got that really nice lace front I mentioned earlier and a hand tied monofilament part. There's also real nice amount of permatease here, but 
on this wig it's super 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 subtle it's really really light because this wig is meant to be sleek so all the permatees really does in this particular wig is help obscure the wefts it doesn't add much in the way of volume and you don't have to worry so much about the little hairs boop, 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 sticking up everywhere and then here in the back you can see that it's very nicely stretchy the sides are quite stretchy and that we've got a really nice amount of felt here for the ear tabs velcro adjusters here in the back we don't have an extended nape though which is kind of bummer given how short it is but you do get this hair here to add coverage there is no additional um, volume at the crown on this one because it's made to be very very sleek very straight very polished and professional looking and there's a close-up of that color for you again very beautiful color looks like the name that it's called which is sangria i mean i don't really see any wine tones in here which tend to have more of a blue base um, but it is quite dramatic and very very pretty so now i'm gonna go ahead and throw this one back on so this has been my review of a double thumbs up wig with a tremendously double triple if i had more thumbs i would just say all the thumbs uh color <laughs> and that is opulence by gabor in the color Sangria, which is GL33-130. Definitely a wig and a color to check out. So my website, just in case you're wondering, is www.cysterwigs.com, also known as Sister Wigs. And my name is Heather. I am the owner and the web designer and all kinds of other stuff. And until next time, I hope you have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.